Hey everyone, Lou here from the CS team. Today I'm going to talk about cascading delete, which is a SQL term for when you delete a record from one table and you also delete associated records from the reference tables that are no longer important to be kept. And to start, I have here a table with some companies. I also have a table here with some cities. And then I have this joint table referencing the IDs of the companies and the IDs of the cities. So let's say that I want to delete a record from the company's table and also delete the corresponding records in this table over here. And the first approach that we can use is through uh, standard APIs. We need to provide the inputs of the records that we're going to query. The first step then is the query all records. So I'm mapping this field company's IDs, which is this one over here that's equal to the input provided. Then I'm going to look through them and delete all the records from this array. And to do that, I'm going to use the ID as a field name and I did not ID as the field value. And ultimately I'm going to delete the record in a company's table. That is the ID of the input provided. So let's go ahead and delete this apple and also delete all the records here that have company ID as number four, which corresponds to Apple. If you go ahead and run, let's check the table, we refresh, refresh this one, and there you go. We have no record associated with Apple. The other approach that we can use is leveraging database trigger functionality. And what database trigger functionality does is listening to the database, whether there are records being inserted, deleted, or edited. You can set a database trigger, clicking here at three dots and clicking here on triggers, and then add database trigger. You can give it a name. Let's call it delete, uh, specify the data source and the action that you want to the trigger to be paying attention to. So here we have inserts, updates, deletes. In our case, is delete. And you can also use custom filter for when you want the database to pay attention to specific values in your table. I already have one set over here that is cascade delete. So let me show you what inputs are. So then we have here new and old for when you are dealing with edits. In our case, uh, we're using delete, so we only have the old. If you're uh, paying attention to insert, so we only have the new. Then you have the action and the data source. So the first step here is to query all the records. Similar to the API equals the input to be old.id because we want the ID of the record that was deleted. Then I'm going to loop through them and delete the items. So let's go ahead and test it. For example, I'm going to come here and delete the record of Microsoft and delete. So let's go to our joint table. And here we go. We don't have any records associated with Microsoft. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave here in the comments below. To learn more about our tool, you can visit our awesome community. And for more videos like this, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're stuck with anything in your building, don't forget to access this live support chat within a platform. See you in the next video.